What is up guys? Another day in Saigon, exploring the sites. But today, we're trying some of Saigon's best dishes. We got the techno going on already. We got the uncles eating, the street food. Set up invited in front of their homes as well. But if you guys have watched or recalled, I did a little tour with EXO Tools couple videos back potentially and they gave me this little this little booklet survival guide and phrase book and in it was a couple of best joints one is a bun me the bloody amazing baguette we'll be heading there in a little bit but first I've got to redeem myself my very first day here we had a, a unique coffee that's not very cultural to Vietnam so here we're trying to find a proper kapo suda, which is like a milk coffee. It is somewhere around here. It is called An House Craft and Beer. Alright oh guys, we found it. It's a little sign that says An House Cafe Craft Beer. I love these little alleyways. They're ridiculous to drive in. Look at feeling the breeze. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I think it's here. Wind. All right, here we go, guys. Cafe, craft, beer, and house. Joko. Oh, bang check here. Maybe we'll come back. Yeah, let's go grab a coffee. How cute is this place? Oh, it's hella dark in here. I think they've just opened. What's that smell? Which is lemongrass. The Viets love their lemongrass. But it's a little hole in the wall place that was recommended by the booklet it exo tools supposedly one of the best coffees beats the coffee we had on the first day hey yeah. all right let's see where are the lovely ladies it is dead i don't think anyone lives here or works here go away a little kitchen in the back Maybe they're on a little bit of a toilet break. We just we'll grab them to go. But look, they've got cafe chung duck big, which is egg coffee, which we're gonna be waiting until Hanoi. Cafe Suda, that is the one I'll be getting. Fifty thousand. Um, what do you want, Wendy? What are you getting? I'm gonna get a cafe suda. I'll try the egg one. The egg one? Yeah, they I'll do. Try. Okay. I will be saving myself until Hanoi. <laughs> that is where it is from. Yes, she she's a born creator. <laughs> Let's check out upstairs though. Let's take off our shoes. As you know with Asian places. No, nah, it's not. Oh, there's a little library, Wendy. It's cute. It's a little place where you can sit down as well. Got some books and knickknacks as well. Very cool. Bunch of artwork. Let's let's wait for the. Ah, oh, fuck! I just macked my head on that. God damn! All right. Ah. <laughs> God damn! That's what I gave a comment upstairs. Right, let's just wait. Go lấy một cái cà phê trứng đặc biệt. You một cái cà phê sữa đá. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Tám mươi giờ cái gì vậy cô? Nó đợi cái phơi. Tám mươi là cái cái hiệu của cái cái dòng cà phê của mình á. Chứ tám mươi cộng. Vậy hả? Ngon lắm hả? Ngon. Okay. Cảm ơn cô. That is condensed milk yeah. Mm. And cà phê. Cà phê. Nice and hot. Cô xài sữa này hả? Mm. Vienna milk southern star. Ooh, but I'm excited to see the egg coffee. Got the egg coffee there in a little bit. Beautiful. Ooh. Yeah, come on. That is how they break the ice here. Go then, Nico. Can na? Yeah. Con tên là Thái. Ốc hả? Ốc về chứ. Dạ, con xanh bên Úc cô. Đi, đi từ nhỏ sang bên bãi luôn hả? À ba mẹ sang bên đây sang con sang bên Úc. 
Yeah. Very good. Like a little martini. She just shakes and stirs. But as you can see, the ceilings are super small, hence why I smacked my head. Into the back. Oh, shaken, not stirred. Trên lầu người ta ở cơ. Cũng là để cho khách ngồi luôn. À, để khách ngồi luôn hả? Mà ở trên lầu là mình ngồi bẹt cái dưới đất. Chứ không có ngồi cái ghế cao. Dạ. Perfect, that looks delicious. I love cà phê sữa đá, but it's very strong in Vietnam. I might have mentioned it in the first video, but she just poured in a little bit of extra coffee as well. And a bamboo, huh? Straw. Okay, come on, go. Yeah, chị nào cà phê cứng, go kêu con nha. Come on. Damn. First coffee. Stunning. Nice. Cafe, soda. You've had this before, yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who else am I talking to, bro? My number one fan. To the viewers. The viewers. Yeah, have you guys had this before? Let me know in the comments. All right, so it's a good ratio to condensed milk to the cafe, the coffee. And I'm feeling this shot. Classic. Stunning. Classic. Stunning. Stunning. You like? What could you compare it to for the Western world? <clears throat> Just an iced Co coffee. Just an iced coffee, huh? Yeah, iced coffee, but it's condensed milk instead of what your normal creamer or your normal milk, I reckon. Mm -hmm. You wanna try? Mm. Refreshing, eh? So good. And this is bamboo straws, guys. See, in Australia, get rid of those bloody paper straws. It's just, it just melts. It disintegrates in your drink. <laughs> Guys, Elite Coffee redeemed ourselves for that very first experimental coffee. <laughs> that, uh, the workshop coffee, yeah. Check back in when the egg coffee is getting made. So this is the egg white, and no. she's just eating it. Làm, làm, phải làm bao nhiêu lâu? Làm ừ, này từ 5 đến 7 phút mới đánh 5 được. 5 7 phút cơ. <cười> mới đánh nó mới bông lên thành cái kem. Dạ. Hồi xưa làm sao? Hồi xưa lấy đủ ừ. vậy hả? Wow, lâu hả? Wow, lâu. <cười> right, guys, the egg whites have been beaten and they are ready. Now we can watch. Ooh, đẹp quá. <cười> Looks like I feel like I'm going to have a shot. A vodka or something? Cái trứng nó bông nè Nghiêng nó không có chảy luôn Dạ, đúng rồi Nó bông lên tới Giống như được vừa đủ á Cái này ở Hà Nội đem qua Sài Gòn hả? Dạ đúng rồi Cái anh chủ này là ảnh là hướng dẫn viên á Ảnh đi tứ xứ luôn á Từ Hà Nội đúng rồi ảnh đem vô Sài Gòn À, ok Cô thích không? Thích uống cà phê này không? Không Không hả? Lớn tuổi uống không được À vậy hả? Bây giờ lấy còn ít này lấy cho ông miếng cho nó hết Cái này dễ gì cô? Cái đó là mực ong Mực ong Một tí xíu mực ong thôi She put in a little bit of the mực ong What is this in English? Not too sure I'll figure it out later guys À, lấy cà phê này Này là cà phê... Cà phê ở đâu? Ở Đà Lạt hả? Nãy không thấy? Cà phê này đắt lắc Cà phê đắt lắc Đắt lắc? Oh, okay. Đó nó cũng gần gần này là một ít rượu rum nữa. Oh, à, ô xỉn không? Nhưng mà nó có vị thôi. Nó vị hả? Okay. Bit a bit of rum guys. Xí à? Chút xíu thôi. Dạ, không có nhiều hả? Oh, it's very strong though guys. You can smell the alcohol. Một một ca cao. Ah, nest quick ca cao. Bit of nest quick guys. Look at this salt bay right here. Oh, cho nó đẹp ha. Here you go, guys. Super duper cute. Xong rồi hả? Xong rồi. Ah, trứng nữa hả? Oh, guys, it's an egg. Oh, that's so cool. Nào, nó chảy xuống. 
đẹp đẹp đâu cho đó rồi, đẹp à, một cái bánh này nói chung cũng trang trí nhưng mà để chấm ăn chấm nó có vị thôi ok cái có bánh vị. này là bánh dạ. là bánh gạo lứt gạo lứt hả ừ, bánh gạo lứt bánh ống gạo lứt ok guys this à. is a masterpiece do you know what it the shape of an egg as well that's it's so cool you guys some, some close up action So the owner brought it over from Hanoi, which is where it's originally from. Okay, just cookies. Uh, mix it all up first. Oh. So it's got rum, it's got makong, which I don't know in English is... Um, yeah, so a bit of alcohol in it. And you're gonna mix it to all the... You see the coffee at the bottom, guys? Until it all... Then I think you, you spoon it up as well. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it has as much foam as your your first coffee. I know. Okay. But it's egg. So she's Thoughts? Thoughts? Alright, go. Here we go, guys. Oh, that's good. Yeah? It's sweet? Mmm. Right, let's set this up here. Good work. Well, I guys, I guess I am having um, a bit of the <laughs> yeah, we need egg to coffee. We have to compare. Yeah, that's so silky smooth. It's slightly fluffy yeah. and it's sweet as well. It tastes like that coffee lolly. That's yeah, um, coffee call. Coffee call? Yeah. Uh, coffee I'll double check. Oh, yeah, Wendy will double check. Pack check. Gugs check. Mm. Coffee call? And then I've seen a few egg coffees on the tube, YouTube. I've never seen it served with a little, a little bicky, a little biscuit. Oh, look at this. Coffee <laughs> call. Coffee call, yeah. I was correct. Coffee curl. Coffee candy. It tastes like that. Oh. Yeah. Try that. It's like a little rice oh. um, snack where you eat it with the coffee. It just adds a different texture. Mm. It's not bad. But I think this is more, especially for the youth, the, the beautiful grandma was saying that the older people hate drinking it because it's oh. too sweet and stuff. It's too sweet. For them, yeah. Whereas us youngins, we like a little bit of sweet. Guys, I don't know much about the history, so I'm gonna let you know. First created in Hanoi, 1946, egg coffee was the brainchild of Nguyen Vang Jiang. I butchered that. Um, it was in response to the pressures of milk shortages caused by the French War. And the gentleman, Nguyen, whisked egg in as much as needed to substitute the milk nothing too crazy but very interesting nonetheless i still prefer the, the first it out yeah i think i prefer it too this is really something you drink on the daily yeah it's more of a dessert or a snack mm. compared to an actual coffee when you need your caffeine fix guys mm. we've smashed it and look at this atrocity now it's no longer cute but we've got a good baseline to compare the coffees with when we head to Hanoi, which is shortly. shortly. I want to be letting you know when. Go away, don't go on you, yeah? Okay. Right, so total is 110. Uh, come on, go. Come on, go, you, yeah? Okay. Okay, back up. Guys. Let's go to the next destination. But once again, yeah. it was Hugo and House. We've definitely got a little bit of a caffeine fix, so I can vlog. Let's go. Arrived, guys. If you're from Vietnam, you definitely know what this place is. Go on. Bun me. Come on, look all the fresh, the fresh produce straight out of the van. Okay, man me khun hoa. Yeah, one order bên đó hả? Yeah. Alright, come on. Let's order over here, guys. So this is new. You used to order over here. Now you order over here. All right. Ooh. Yeah, go. Sixty-eight. Go. Um, hai ổ bánh mì nha. Yeah, đầy đủ rồi. Oh. So, two in 
130. We'll do the maths for you. Can you grab the change? I'll have a look. Ah, come on, come on. You wanna hold that? Grab the change. Hello, but this is the little the little kitchen. Yeah, but may it's all the cold cuts here. They've opened. They've. I think that's what we got. Cold cuts and jabong as well. You've got. It's very blurry, but the the burr, the butter, the pate, and the rest of the cuts as well. That is the joint, guys. Okay. Come on. Woo. Just jump out. You want a drink? Me. Yeah, it's pretty damn hot. I, I wouldn't mind one as well. Let's see where we order. Oh, so I think they that's just purely grab. Ah, so it, when I was here last time, guys, we used to order from both sides. It looks like it's purely grab all the food deliveries. And then this is now all the, the takeaways and whatnot as well. But here we go. We're getting a little bit of a little bit of a sugar cane action. Look near. So go. Oh, they've got as well, huh? Ooh, there we go. I love these contraptions. So it comes in here. Ah, it, it exits here. Normally it comes out on the side. Here we go. Well, that's guys. How weird does that look? <laughs> They've got the ice all ready to go as well. Yeah, we'll eat inside. We'll grab the drinks. Thank you. We've got the good guys. They're so fast. The Vietnamese are efficient. There we go. It comes out. Pours it into the little containers. They're only a dollar each or less. Ooh. It's a good serving as well. Grab some straws. We'll grab this one. I'll take it in first. Come on, man. Shop inside, guys. We're gonna grab the seat in here. Perfect, right here. Guys, it's a little bit dark in here, but there is fans and air conditioning, so such is life. But these, you've never had this before, right? Yeah. yeah. These are big ass guys. Thank you. And then they give you ooh, some globes. Some baggies. Another baggie. And daikon as well. So it's a bit of a DIY, DIY, DIY yeah. construction. Very good. These are actually massive guys. Oh dear. Bam. So with that is the jabong. What's jabong in English? It is dried, yeah, dried pork crust. Spot on. We've got some pate at the bottom. Heaps of the cold cuts in there as well. And of course, you need these greenery. If you don't like coriander, I think there's something wrong with you. Oh, I think it's actually genetic. Some people say it tastes like um, soap. Soap. Yeah. There you go, mate. That was perfect. Just the one. Oh, there is. <laughs> help yourself. Help yourself. Holy moly. I love the cucumbers. Yes. Bit of soap. Sprinkle action. I love me some spring onions as well. I've never had a DIY, DIY bun me before. Mm. Oh, there's some chilies there as well. Is there? Yeah, just the um, some oh, green, the green ones. ones. Yeah. Love, 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 love. You love what? I love the pickled Ah, yeah, it's amazing. So Guys, it's actually massive there. The gosh is our first thing today. We'll be eating. Ooh. Look, mirror sugar cane, guys. That is amazing. God damn, look at the size of this. Bro, look, put it against your head. <laughs> That's <laughs> massive. I just want to eat this. Yeah. You... Guys, massive. I will normally cut it in half as well. But... Good? Right. So this is 
this is one of the highest rated bun meat joints in all of Saigon. Now, is it the best? It's hard to tell because you got little grammars who sell the Arnold Google review as well. But this is damn delicious. This is about three US dollars for the size of this as well, right? It's bigger than my head, and my head's pretty big. So, is it? <laughs> Look at this. Jesus. Wendy is pretty small though. Okay. <laughs> so guys, this is really good though. It's as good as I remembered. There are a couple of other good spots, but this was recommended by Exo Tours, who are an amazing food tour company. So you can't go wrong with one of these bad boys, hey? Oh, oh. So many different types of meats as well. Explosion of flavors, yet so simple. Look at this, delicious. Guys, she's been eating this for about half an hour. Has <laughs> <laughs> been a couple of minutes. How is it though? How would you rate it? It's really good. Yeah. It's so big. It is, yeah. Yeah, it's like two bun meats in one, I reckon. I reckon we could have shared one. Probably, probably. It is pretty damn big. But Australia does pretty damn good bun meats as well. Um, but this is my top three bun meats ever, I reckon. Where would you rank this bun meat in your top top t your top list of bun meats? If it was smaller, it would be in the top three. Um, yeah, yeah. you don't know. Everyone if it was smaller. Yeah. No, that's yeah. the first time a girl wants something smaller, guys. DT de demonetized. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, don't demonetize me, YouTube. <laughs> These are damn good, though, I'll be honest. We could not finish it. We actually had to wrap some of up away. She was actually right, it's a bit too much. You sort of get sick of it towards the end because it's so much food. But a little oven where they reheat here, and then the fresh ingredients back there. Come on, man. Yes. That makes so many. Bye bye, bye 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 bye. I reckon that makes they sell so many. This look, there's literally a continuous line for the bun maze where they grab the food deliveries are. God damn, it was nice in there. It's hot as hell now. Whew. Guys, but bun mei kun hua. Is it the best in Vietnam? I don't know. Probably not. There's so many of them around, but this is definitely one of the highest reviewed, one of the most popular in all of Vietnam and it was recommended by XO Tours. So guys, I'll catch you in the next one, yeah? Hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs>